Hello there, I'm Tip Squirrel from tipsquirrel.com and in this video we'll be looking at Photo Merge for panoramas in Photoshop Elements 9. But before we do that, let's have a look at it in Photoshop CS5. Now you can see I've already aligned all the layers for this, well I say all, four layers, and they've all been blended together and we've got this gap around the outside. Now you may have seen this demonstrated several times before because it was quite a selling point of CS5 but for those that aren't aware of this let me just demonstrate it. I'm going to highlight all the layers, press Shift, Control, Alt and E to jump all those layers onto a single layer which means I can then control and click on the icon for this layer which makes a selection of the contents of the layer I'm going to go to select and inverse and then select modify and expand by about 10 pixels press OK and I've made my selection now shift and backspace and I come up with my fill dialog box which I want to do content aware now this is the bit that isn't available within Photoshop Elements 9 and we'll get to this bit in just a minute but let me just finish off doing this so we can see the results they click OK. Now for those that haven't come across Content Aware Fill before, let me just tell you what it's doing. What Content Aware Fill does is it looks at what the image is made up of and tries to assimilate the bits that are missing. So it's not necessarily going to clone pieces of the image to fill it in or to clone stamp as we would do perhaps if we were working to try and do this ourselves. It's going to try and assimilate how it would continue. I dread to think of the maths behind it. I'm not even going to try and find out. OK, there we go. We're done. So I do Control and D to deselect that. And you can see it's done a pretty good job. I'm just going to add a quick levels to this just to brighten up a bit. There we go. Okay. Looks a little bit better. And there we are. OK, let's try and do the similar thing in Photoshop Elements. Now Photoshop Elements 9, I'm just going to close this down, Photoshop Elements 9 does come with Content Aware Healing Brush but not the Content Aware Fill. So let's have a look and see how it handles this. I'm going to go to File, New, File, New and Photo Merge Panorama. Very similar, well not, not similar, exactly the same dialog box as in Photoshop. I'm going to browse to my folders and grab those four images, click OK. And then I'm going to click OK on here, keeping this layout as auto. And away we go. Now, if you've not used this before, let me just tell you what's going on in this part of the process. Photoshop Elements, and very similarly in Photoshop, it takes these four images and it loads it into the program. So you can see that we've got our four layers come up on the right hand side there. Now what it's trying to do is align those layers. So when we've taken these photographs, we've overlapped them very slightly, just so we give Photoshop Elements a fighting chance of aligning them together. So it'll look for features that appear on both images and put them together. And it's about halfway through. I'm not going to speed up this film or cut things out because I'd like you to see how quickly you can actually do it. It may be a bit of dead time, and I apologise, you're going to have to listen to me rambling on from time to time, but it's really not a very long process. OK, it's aligned all the images, but now it needs to blend them all together. So if we look down the bottom left-hand side, we can see it's aligned them all together, but the exposure is much brighter on the right-hand side of the image than it is on the left. We've also got very definite lines running through. So using masks, it's going to blend this together and blend all the colours and the exposure together to give us a nice, clean, single image. There we go, it's creating the layer masks now. Sometimes if you've really overlapped two or three different images, it will use just a few pixels from each image. Sometimes none at all if you've overlapped completely. But you can run the same thing again and it would be completely different. So here we go, something different to Photoshop. CS5, it's asking us, would you like to automatically fill in the edges of your panorama? Well, yes, yes, I would, because that's what I went to all the trouble to do in Photoshop. Remember, I had to make a new layer, I then clicked the layer, reverse the selection, then I modified the selection, 
and then did my content aware fill in Photoshop Elements 9, I click yes. And it's going to automate that whole process for me. So it's going to find the edge and now it's filling the edge. You see our selection there, hopefully. It's made a perfect selection. Why wouldn't it? And now it's filling it using content aware fill. The exact same content aware fill as in CS5, in fact. The only difference with Photoshop Elements is you can't select an area yourself during the Im uh, editing of an image and then choose content aware fill. Okay, we're nearly done now. It's not going to let me down. There we go. A really nice content aware fill in Photoshop Elements. And again, I'm just going to quickly pop on a quick levels just to brighten the image up a little bit so we can see a bit better. And there we are. We've now done exactly the same process as we did in Photoshop CS5. We've done it in Photoshop Elements 9. I'm Tip Squirrel for tipsquirrel.com. Thank you very much for bearing with me.